Hello everyone, in this video we will learn one very important engineering skill. That is, we will learn how to convert units. A skeptical person or a skeptical student might ask us, why do I need to study unit conversions? Why do I need that? Well, a very simple answer and an answer that will convince him is the following. For example, I'm a European person and I'm used to express my mass in kilograms. And when I go to a physical checkup, a yearly physical checkup, I often receive the following question. What is your weight? Now, since I'm an engineer, I like to correct the physician and I would like to I like to say to him well you cannot ask me about my weight you can ask me about my mass and then he asks me what is your mass and I say let's say my mass is 95 kilograms and then he looks at me for a few seconds and I see in his eyes that he's confused and then I remember that I'm in the US and that I need to express my mass in pounds. So I need to tell him my mass in pounds. So how to do that? Here's another example. In the New York City, the speed limit on highways is usually 55 miles per hour. Now, again, as a European person, I would like to express this in kilometers per hour. Or, as an engineer, I would like to express the speed in meters per second. Since I can clearly visualize in my mind meters per second. How to solve these problems? Well, to solve these problems, you need to learn how to convert units. But not only these problems, there are tons of problems in engineering field, in various engineering fields, where you would be asked or you will need to convert one unit to another. As always, this video is accompanied by a post and a link to this post is given in the description below. Before we start, let us first introduce the convention for expressing units in your lab reports, in your homework assignments, or even better, in your scientific articles. Let's say that you want to write one meter. For sure, you can write one meter in your lab report. However, the standard way for writing one meter is to write one and then in square brackets to write m. So, this notation is a standard notation for writing units. We often use square brackets and abbreviation for meter is m. Now, in the US, we are used to expressing the length using mile or using feet. However, in US, they can use yards. In Europe, they are using meters. So, what is a standard way, an universally accepted way for expressing the length and not only length also what is the standard way for expressing units well at certain point in history engineer physicists and uh, representatives of governments had to come up with some widely accepted and universally accepted system of units and they come up with something called international system of units that is International system of units has a unique unit for every physical variable. For example, for time use seconds, for 
length use meters, for mass use kilograms, for electric current amperes, for temperature Kelvin, etc. So, as an engineer, if you want to, for example, to communicate with engineers from China or from other country, from India, you would most likely express all the variables using international system of units. Okay, let us now solve the first problem. Our first problem is to convert 124 miles or you can write it down also as this 124 miles in meters so we want to see how many meters we have in 124 miles now how to tackle this problem the first step the step number zero or zero step is to find How many meters we have in one mile? Well, you can simply Google this and you can say miles to meters. And Mr. Google give us the following number. The number is 1609.34. So we can write 1609.34. Great. Now, from this equation, we simply obtain 124 times 1 miles is equal to 124 times 1609.34 meters. And by substituting these values in the calculator, you obtain 19 nine five five eight point one meters now we can write this as one nine nine point five five eight one times ten to the power three meters so we have almost two hundred thousand meters in 124 miles let's do problem number two the problem number two is to express the mass of 88 kilograms into pounds what's the first step the first step is to figure out how many pounds we have in one kilogram again consulting mr. Google we obtain that it is 2.20462 pounds great now by multiplying the last equation with 88 we obtain And by substituting these values into a calculator, we obtain that this is equal to 194.00656 pounds. Problem number three. We know that in the New York City, the speed limit on the highway is 55 miles an hour. A. We want to express this value in kilometers per hour and in the part B of the problem we want to express this value in, two, in meters per second. How to solve number 8? Number 8 or point A is relatively simple. So we can write 55 miles per hour is equal to 55 times what times we need to convert miles into 
into we need to convert miles into kilometers so from the previous example from the example number one we know that one mile is one six oh nine point thirty four meters and we can write this as 55 times in the denominator we have ours 1.60934 kilometers since we know that one kilometer has thousand meters then we simply multiply 55 by point 1.60934 and as a result we obtain 55 miles per hour correspond to let's see what do we get we substitute in the in the calculator and we obtain 88 point five one three seven kilometers per hour okay not bad in Europe on highways it's usually 90 kilometers per hour or in Germany there are no limits at on certain highways not bad let us now solve part B in part B of the problem we want to express 55 miles per hour as a known quantity of meters per second okay so how to tackle this problem well we write 55 miles per hour is equal to 55 times one mile has how many kilo how many meters one mile has one six oh nine point thirty four meters okay so in the denominator we obtain the unit that's being asked so in the in the actually in the numerator we obtain the unit that's being asked and that's meters now in the denominator we have to obtain seconds we have hours here now one hour is equal to how many seconds this is the basic problem so we know that one hour has 60 minutes and one minute has 60 seconds so from here we obtain that one hour is basically equal to 3600 seconds now substituting this value in the denominator we obtain 3600 seconds and by performing simple calculations by substituting these values in your calculator you will obtain that this is equal to 24 point five eight seven one three eight 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 until infinity meters per second this value can also be written as twenty four point five eight seven one three and you can write eight eight and one bar which represents eight that repeats itself infinite number of times here is another problem in this problem we want to express 5.6 centimeters in number a millimeters point b micrometers and point c kilometers let's first tackle the point A so let's see we know that one meter 
is equal to 100 centimeters and this is equal to 1000 millimeters now from this part from these two equations or actually from the last equation we can obtain that 100 centimeters is equal to 1000 millimeters and by solving this equation for centimeters we obtain that 1 centimeter is equal to 10 to the power 3 millimeters over 10 to the power 2 and this is equal to 10 power 3 minus 2 millimeters so we obtain that 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters now by simply multiplying the last equation with 5.6 we obtain that 5.6 centimeters is equal to 56 millimeters here is our solution let's now try to solve point B in point B we are being asked to express 5.6 centimeter as a known number of micrometers so this is the unit for micrometers now again one meter has 100 centimeters and one meter has 10 to the power 6 micrometers now from this equation we can obtain that 1 centimeter or 100 times 1 centimeter is equal 10 to the power 6 micrometers or 1 centimeter is equal 10 to the power 6 divided by 10 to the power 2 micrometers or 10 to the power 4 micrometers so we conclude that one centimeter has 10,000 micrometers and by simply multiplying the last equation with 5.6 we obtain 5.6 centimeters it's 5.6 10 to the power 4 micrometers and this solves our problem finally let us solve the problem C in the problem C we need to express 5.6 centimeters in a known number of kilometers. How to do that? Now, what can we write? What can we write? We can write one kilometer has 1000 meters and we know that one meter has 100 centimeters so we can write this is equal to 1000 times 100 centimeters or we can write this 10 to the power 3 times 10 to the power 2 centimeters or this is equal 10 to the power 5 centimeters so 1 kilometer is equivalent to 10 to the power 5 centimeters or from this equation we obtain that 1 centimeter is equal to 1 over 10 to the power 5 kilometers or 1 centimeter is equal to 10 to the minus 5 kilometers and by simply multiplying this equation with 5.6 we obtain that 5.6 centimeters is 5.6 times 10 to the minus 5 kilometers and this concludes our problem